Yo, what up guys? In today's video, we're going wide. What we are going to do today is attempt uh, to just put it onto the car. So my plan is that I'm gonna drill some self-toppers into the mounting points on the actual kit itself and then just make the holes and then stick in the self-topper, line it up with the body and then self-tap it onto the body for now as a temporary measure just to get it off of the floor and onto the car and then work with it from there. So I'm gonna try to mock it up as best as I can um, line it up as best as I can. Obviously it's Duraflex. Um, I've tried to mock it up before and it's terrible. Fitment is absolutely garbage, um, but it was cheap. So we will try to work with that and get this mounted up to the car. Just see what it looks like on the car. So let's get started. I am going to try to start with the front actually because Right now the car is sitting a bit too low and it's rubbing the fenders so I want to get mocked up on the front uh, and then cut the fenders so that I can stop rubbing and so I can actually drive this car a bit more and then um, we'll move on to the rears and then start cutting the rears. So let's start off with the passenger side since we're already over here and then move over to the drivers and then move on to the rears. So yeah, let's figure it out. So it looks like I did drop this one by accident and there is a small crack on it. As you can see right there, if it'll focus, right, yeah, right there. I think I dropped something on it or dropped the piece itself. But what it looks like, it doesn't even look like fiberglass. It just, I don't know, it looks like some plastic. So if anything, if it, um, if you do hit this, it's true what they say, it'll just, Explode. So I'm gonna try not to hit it. Um, but this one goes on driver's or passenger's rear. This one looks to go on the driver's front. And this one is also the driver's rear. I'm assuming that. And as you can see, I already tried to mock it up with all of this tape, but that didn't go so well. So I'm gonna try it again while. I have all of my other supplies on me, AKA the self tappers. Okay, so looks like that is supposed to go. That's a bit too high. So I'm assuming it's supposed to go something like that. And then we'll deal with the bumper part later. Oh yeah, you can see, you can kind of see a body line down here. Yeah, this is it right here. If you follow this body line on the fender, it looks like that's where uh, this cuts. So there's a bit of a body line also on uh, the piece itself, but it's really just where it bolts in. So that's, that looks like it fits pretty good right there. And then, if you slap this side on, I think that's it. Right there. And then, it looks like it also bolts into the bumper, which is weird. I didn't think it would. Um, let's see, I'm gonna try to tape it on right here. This fitment of this looks pretty decent for what it is. Definitely would be easier with more people, but just by myself today. Roughly, roughly right here. So I'm just gonna adjust this side. Okay, so we got the one side lined up. And it's 
slowly peeling off. So we're gonna try to hold it on as best as possible. There's no mounting points here. So it looks about good enough for me. There's one mounting point here, one here, and one here, and one here. So we're gonna get all these one, two, three, four on with self toppers really quick. Uh oh, I cracked the bin. That's not self topper. Okay, first time doing this. Wish me luck. Hopefully I don't crack it right away. So that's in. That's in. This one in. Looks like a long point right here. This one doesn't look like it wanted to be a mounting point. But it kind of did at the same time, so we're gonna make it a mounting point. So those two are in, this one in. That's not one either. Okay, so this tape can come off now. It'll go on the other side now. I should probably do it with the bumper on. Um, but I don't think I want to mount it to the bumper. So... I am actually just gonna mount it to the fender. And if anything, I'll try to make it as close. Oh, there's like a body line for the, um, for the bumper too. And I lined that up somewhat decently. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pretty much just uh, get it onto the fender only um, because the bumper is gonna go on and off a lot and I feel like I'm gonna hit it on stuff. So I couldn't really care less. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stick this one in now too. Pretty close. So without tape now, looks like everything should stay. Looks pretty sturdy. And then obviously, um, when I get everything perfect-ish, perfect, I'm gonna get rivets in here and do the rubber molding and. Um, make it look better but just for now it's pretty temporary so i actually like the way it looks it actually it looks pretty good when it's actually on there i don't mind it at all really so you can kind of see a body line maybe not on camera but it follows pretty good and then in here is just like this is if you look at it straight on um the fender is a bit further out than the actual over fender. But it's looking pretty good. 
I do have to do a whole bunch of cutting, but it, it opens it up a whole bunch. And it looks like I'm gonna need to go way lower because it's gonna look like a spaceship right now because it looks so high. Um, but like, that's, it's pretty much hugging the bottom right now, so it can't even go any lower. But, you know what they say, bags. And then here, you can also kind of see a body line. Um, I feel it right here. So I feel like I did make it a bit high. Oh no, the body line is right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like a slight bend right here. And then my body line is over here compared to being up here. So I'm a bit low actually. Um, yeah, this side is on. I, I'm probably gonna mark it with a marker or pen or something just to know where to cut. Um, but I'm trying to, I wanna get all of it on first before we start cutting and doing all of that stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna move on to the driver's side now. Okay, so we are on the driver's side now. Right here, it looks very bacony. Um, close up right here as you can see every time I turn the wheel it just pulls the fender and all the fender is just like completely buckled so need to cut need to cut a good portion of it out just to be able to drive it again so that is the priority Alright guys, so for this one, um, I think I'm going to take it off and then just move that end down a bit. Um, just because on the other side, I'll show you guys really quickly. If you look at this side, you can see that there is a bit of a gap right at the bottom. Right around here, there's a bit of a gap. But if you come over to this side, there is almost no gap at all compared to this side quite a bit of gap so what I'm gonna do is try to move it down a bit more so it can um basically like that um and then it'll just I'm gonna try to drop it down a bit so I'll just redrill no holes but this first one is in a pretty good spot right here so I'll take them all off except for that one and then if anything, if I don't like it, I'll just put it back in the hole that I already screwed in it. So I am going to bang that out really quick and then see how that turns out. Alright guys, so the wheel is pulled off. I got my grinding tool ready. Um, I don't even know if I put this on right, to be honest. I don't know if this side's supposed to go inside or that side's supposed to go inside or I don't know. Well, we will find out if uh, sh stuff goes flying around. So let's just get right into it and um, try to cut along this line. Hopefully we'll be okay.